Hi, Dr. John Florendo, the Unlimited Wellness Institute. Welcome to Wellness Wednesdays. The fourth facet of health is sleep. Sleep, essential. You know that they found that your brain works more, activated more when you're in sleep. And your body, of course, needs that to recharge. So sleep is really, really essential. Now, the position of sleep is also very essential. And your support system for sleep is very essential. Support system, meaning your mattress and your pillow. right? So your mattress should be firm enough. I call them medium firms. So where when you lay on your side, you get a little bit of, of hip sinking in. Um, that also helps with the curvature of your low back. But a firmer mattress, it will be better for support. Now, if your mattress is over five to years to seven years old and it's indented to the perfect shape of your body it's probably time for a new mattress and you can't put a piece of plywood between the mattress and the box spring um, you, you can't flip it every you know three months or every month um, you really need to have a new mattress after five to seven years right that's on average now the pillow system that you use is also very essential right I used to have a, a patient. She was uh, retired from the from the convent, Sister Mary. And, you know, Sister Mary used to come in with a stiff neck and headache. And her stiff neck would always be to the left. And she'd always have this headache. She'd get care. She'd leave. Perfect. You know, after two, three days, she'd come back in. Same problem. Finally, I asked Mary, uh, how many pillows are you sleeping with? And she said four. She had four pillows stacked behind her. And guess what? Her pillow, her TV was in the left corner of her room. So she'd fall asleep like that. So she woke up stiff. So just be aware your pillow should be moldable enough. If you're sleeping on your back to bring a natural curvature into your spine, right? When you're sleeping on your back, your, your, Best position to sleep is actually on your side in the fetal position with your pillow thick enough to keep your nose when you're laying on your side, right? Your nose should be in line with your spine. That's the best possible posture that you can have. So best position is side. If you have low back issues, a pillow between your knees, because we tend to cross our knees over for balance, and that contracts the muscles in the low back. And if you're doing that for three, four, five hours, that can cause some problems, right? So side pill sleepers, pillow between the legs, thick enough pillow. It may take two thin ones, but it doesn't matter as long as you have your nose in line with your spine. Second best position is face up. As you mentioned, bring in a curvature in it to get your pillows moldable enough to bring a natural curvature into your neck. And if you have low back issues, a pillow should be underneath your knees if you lay on your back. And if you again, if you lay on your side, it should be between your knees so you don't have the crossover. So under your knees if you're face up. Now the worst position to sleep is the only one left, is on your stomach. Because if you lay on your stomach, you have to do one or two things, right? One or two things. You have to either turn your face to the left or the right to breathe. Now you see this muscle right here? This is called your SCM muscle. If that contracts, that's going to irritate the nerve underneath there. And that's going to cause problems. You may wake up with a headache or numbness in your hands or things of that nature. So if you've waken up with your hands, see, that means that you, you really slept on your stomach and you had your head turned. And if you have a, you're on your tummy and you have your head turned and you have the pillow here, wow, you get double compression. Right? So just be aware of that. Best position side. Second best face up, avoid sleeping on your stomach. And those will get you into your deeper sleeps. Your, you know, they found that when you sleep on your side, you know, you bring in that natural lordosis of your curvature. You actually get into REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep, much faster. And it's more efficient for deep sleep repair, right? So REM sleep is really essential for you. So make sure you've got the proper sleeping positions. you got the proper equipment. Go over the number five facet of health. Five facet of health. Number five. And that is PMA. Positive mental attitude. You've heard of the term psychosomatic. Psycho meaning brain. Soma meaning body. Right? Your brain controls your body. 
you know that when you're what you're thinking about comes about when your brain is able to send messages properly your body's going to be well and but if it can't and you're you're not sending messages properly it could be many different causes but the mental attitude is one of the most important don't think how bad things are now just think how good they be when they're better you know life is a cycle we all go through different cycles it, it's never always straight up and it's never always straight down it's always somewhere in the middle right so understand that that your body is built to repair if you give it the time and the mental strength to do what it's designed to do it'll get you there and I, and I believe me I've been doing my work for 37 years coming up and I've seen that we change the mental attitude the health comes back right so understand that PMA don't think how big things are, are now just think how good they'll be when they're better positive mental attitude. This last facet is my specialty, a balanced spine. You need a balanced spine for your nervous system to function properly. You need the proper nerve energy for your body to do what's supposed to do. And a balanced spine really will dictate how your nervous system is firing and functioning. Now, think about your, your spine. Think about when it develops. It develops in the womb, um, the brain and spinal cord. It's actually the spinal cord is called a notochord, are developing, and it takes 280 lunar days for that to fully develop. Now, as the baby is, is within the womb, the infant within, within the womb, the curvatures aren't fully developed yet you actually have one curve it's called a c curve a quite kyphotic curve and that's how they are born with that kyphotic curve the c curves the opposite c curves are called lordotic curves and they they develop after birth so as a baby starts to hold his or her head up they develop that curvature in their neck area and eight to twelve months later they're able to walk they develop the curvature in the lower spine area. So those C curves are developed after birth. And they're vital because they also support the functioning of the nervous system, mainly the spinal cord, and there's a come off the spinal cord. That's really what your nervous system is made of. Brain, spinal cord, and there's a come off the cord. Right? So these curvatures are vital for, for health. Right? So understanding what a balanced spine does is that it is also protecting that nervous system and making sure that everything can send messages the way it should properly be done. Now, when we have blockages of those messages, especially coming from where the nerves come off the spinal cord as they exit between vertebra, made by the disc which supports the two vertebrae, which also acts as a shock absorber, a pivot point. Most importantly, it makes a part of the hole where the nerve comes out. So if that is being uh, either bulging or extruding into the frame and where the nerve comes out there's going to be nerve irritation and that's going to cause some kind of of body reaction you know your symptoms that you get or experience are your body's way of trying to tell you something's wrong right so covering them up with unnecessary drugs or medication is really like cutting the wires to an alarm system so understand that symptoms are your body's warning signals now the goal is to correct the cause and that's what we do doctor of chiropractic doctor of cause is finding the cause of the symptom that's what we're going to look to the spine you know hippocrates did say look to the spine for the cause of all disease and that's really where we're coming from is that the basic traditional chiropractic philosophy is look to the spine for the cause of problems and we can identify that and research has shown that and studies have shown that when a nerve is not functioning dr chung su from the university of colorado back in the 70s did experiments where a weight of a quarter can disrupt messages you know up to 65 percent if you place it on on the nerve so the weight of a quarter on a nerve can disrupt messages 65 percent so just imagine your head you know how big some heads are and heavy compressing on a nerve if the spine is not properly lined up and what kind of message that could distort to where whatever body part your brain is trying to send a message to so we call that distortion a subluxation meaning 
bone out of place, irritating nerve. Subluxation. Sub, less lux, light, Asian motion. Subluxation is really what causes most problems when we're dealing with the spine. And so repeat after me. A bone out of place irritates nerve, causes problems, is a subluxation. Now, what we do if we find these subluxations, our major goal is to correct them, correct the cause of the problem, correct the subluxation. So when we do that, we use different techniques. There are many different techniques that have been designed and developed. Me being in practice for as long as I have, 37 years coming up this year, uh, I am a technician with nine different techniques depending on the person because everyone's body is different. Every nervous system is functioning differently depending on what type of problems they have. And that may be because, because of the different phases of degeneration as we talked about in the exercise uh, portion of the of the facets of health. It talked about you know the different phases of degeneration, and that will determine how your nervous system is functioning, and will determine if you can get a balanced spine. And you may not be able to, depending on the problem. So remember this: I have a saying: if you wait, it could be too late. Early detection, better correction. Right. So we find problems early before the body starts to break down. That's really the goal of maintenance. And chiropractic wellness is prevention. Prevention is the best cure, right? So just be aware of that our goal is also, of course, to get you as healthy as you can be. From Dorland's Medical Dictionary, health is a state of complete physical, mental, social, or being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmities. What that means here is that health is more than just feeling good. It's how your body works. It's how you're interacting socially with your family, friends, and coworkers. You know that's all how you're mentally thinking. That's all part of health. So just understand that. And I hope you learned something for these facets. Please tune in to the Unlimited Wellness Institute um, Wellness Wednesdays. We'll have different topics. If you have any questions, info at unlimitedwellnessinstitute.com. Signing off. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in to Wellness Wednesdays and have an unforgettable day.